Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this video, we are going to make Windows 11 faster. We will be doing some very easy steps, yet very powerful steps to make very old computer in a brand new condition. After doing all these simple steps, your computer will be way faster than earlier. And the performance, the gaming performance, you can also boost FPS. Overall, it will be a complete boost of PC. So let's go ahead and do that. Do a right click in the start icon and then go to task manager. Now, once the task manager is open, go to startup tab. Now, here, please make sure, let me just maximize it. Now, here, leave the graphics, antivirus, and other sound related Microsoft. You just need to make sure you do not disable any Microsoft programs. You just need to disable unwanted applications at the startup. So this is the first step which we need to follow. So if you see anything which is there, just do a right click and you do not know. You can also search online if you do not know what exactly that service is. So I can see this is enabled. So just do a right click and disable the application which is unwanted and you do not use it. You can see I have disabled many applications which I do not need at the startup. So you can also make sure that you only disable unwanted applications from the startup menu and leave it enable, which is very essential, like audio, graphics card, and other things which you think. Now, once this is done, you just need to close this window. And then do a right click in the start icon again. This will work on Windows 11, Windows 10, and Windows 8 as well. So once you do a right click, go to run and here you need to type clean MGR. So type clean MGR and then hit OK. So it will open up basically a cleanup tool, disk cleanup of Microsoft. From where you can select all check marks, including recycle bin. Just make sure you do not have anything on recycle bin, something important. And then you just need to click on OK. So in this manner, whatever the junk or system cache or any unwanted data which is not created by you will be wiped out once this is done you just need to restart the computer so after doing these two steps your computer performance will be better now to enhance the performance we need to do more steps so for that in the search icon type power and you will find edit power plan or choose a power plan. You can also select power and sleep battery settings. So once you click on that, here, I'll just maximize it. You will find the power mode. Optimize your device based on power and use and performance. So you can select best power efficiency and best performance. So if you select best power efficiency, the overall performance will not be that good however the battery will be better the battery level or the battery life will be higher and if you select best performance the performance of the computer will be better it's just like a car or a bike if you accelerate you you will use more fuel same thing goes with this computer as well so i will select best performance you can select best you can select the balanced one that is up to you now once this is done Press window and R key together or simply do a right click in the start icon again. And here, this time we will type 10. So even after cleaning from clean MGR, there are certain locations where the temporary internet files and cache remains there. So we will type temp and then hit OK. And here I can see a lot of junk here. You just need to select any of the file, press Ctrl A and then shift delete so i'm going to delete these 47 items which is not created by you some of the items may not be able to delete it so that is fine you can select do all for this do this for all and click on skip so that is fine once this is done do a right click on the start icon again and then go to run again and here this time we will press we will type percentage temp percentage let me just maximize it and here you just need to click on ok 
now this is another location of temporary internet files and the applications whatever the software applications you use it creates junk and registry files all these things you do not need it so select it press ctrl a to select all and press shift delete so in this manner you will be get reading of junk you can skip the files which is not getting deleted that is fine so in my computer this is absolutely optimized and faster computer it doesn't have much junk but in your computer you might have 10 20 or 30 gb of junk sitting there in the computer and making the computer slow so after doing these four steps the computer performance will be better way better than earlier now you need to also optimize your browser so if you're using google chrome and microsoft edge we will be doing we will be optimizing both the browsers so here we need to open chrome and at the top right corner you have this three dots and then go to settings go to advanced and then reset and clean up so if you have browser issues you can restore it to default settings it will remove all the extensions everything from the from the browser and you will have a brand new browser in front of you without any lag if you want to check how many extension what kind of extensions you have you just need to click on these three dots and go to more tools and see extensions just see if you do not just see if you have any unwanted extensions because these extensions uses the resources of the browser and make the computer slow so from here you can remove the unwanted extensions so we are done with the chrome now i'll close this and here we will go to microsoft edge so i'll just quickly open it same process we need to click on this three dots and then we need to go to uh, extensions first so here i do not have any extension but in your case if you have extensions and if you do not know about it you can simply remove it so it will put off the load from the computer and the browser once this is done go to the settings and here we have this option reset settings now again this will restore settings to their defaults once i click on that it will say this will reset your startup page new page search engine pin tabs it will also turn off all extensions that's the good thing and clear temporary data like cookies and the important thing which we need to know here your favorites history and safe passwords will not be cleared so you can do that it is up to you so once this is done i'll just close this window uh, there could be a possibility that you have uh, some infections or malware running in the computer's background so for that here you just need to click on that and open your windows security we also call it windows defender now here we need to click on this virus and threat protection and do a quick scan like this so it will start scanning and if you have any kind of infections this will be removed from your computer and once this is done there is one more important thing which you need to do just do a right click go to run and this time type prefetch another location of junk i'll just maximize it so in this manner the whole procedure which we are doing right now it will also free up space as well as enhance the computer performance especially windows 11 and windows 10. now this location in prefetch you might have a lot of things there just press ctrl a select all and shift delete like this once this is done click on the search icon and type update and you will find windows update settings now it is really very important to update your windows it is a good practice to update your windows regularly so i can see last check today at 10 10 30 am so you can simply click on check updates it might take some time but definitely it's a worth because there are a lot of improvement are there when you update your windows to the latest updates so this is a good practice you should always follow this and once this is done restart the computer and see the performance of your computer and one more thing which you can do right here to repair your computer 
let's say if you have some uh, corruption in the windows you still have some issues it's good to run a scan so for that in the search i can type cmd and run as an administrator and click on yes and i'll mention some commands in the description box which you need to copy and paste it here so the first is sfc space forward slash scan now and you just need to hit enter now begin system scan this process will take some time now the verification has been started system scan is going so it might take some time maybe 10 15 or maybe 20 minutes but the once the scan is completed it will repair the system files which is a good thing so once this is done restart the computer and let me know how's the performance of your computer and guys if please hit the like and subscribe i need your support so please follow please subscribe for more videos like this i'll see you in the next video have a wonderful day